Hygiene's layer fertilizer. It has a large touch screen display. This is the lid of the cold trap. And this here is the cold trap. It has a temperature sensor for measuring the sample temperature. This is the sealing ring. Here it has a vacuum interface for connecting the vacuum pump with the layer fertilizer. And this is the air inlet for breaking the vacuum once the layer fertilization is done. So it comes with a vacuum pump. This is the opening for filling in the oil in the vacuum pump. And this is the display for the level of oil inside this. And you have to fill it till 75%. Then this is the oil ray. Here you have to connect the pipe using these clamps over here. You have to tighten it. So take this o-ring and place it over here like this. And place this clamp over here. And take the pipe and place it like this. And tighten the clamp over here. So after connecting the pipe, you have to turn this on from the back side. So this is the main display, you have to touch this once and the main screen opens up. So here it displays the sample temperature which is measured by this particular sensor. Then this is the pole trap temperature. This here shows the vacuum or the pressure present inside the chamber. So to visualize the pressure, you have to turn on the vacuum meter using this so it displays the pressure and this is for turning on the vacuum pump and this particular option is for turning on the compressor so to turn on the compressor you have to click on this and then click yes so the compressor turns on so this is the stand for holding the trays for freezing of the samples so you have to take this place your samples inside these trays and place this inside the pole trap in here like this and place this temperature sensor on the top tray to measure the sample temperature like this now place this lid over here on the top for freezing the samples so the temperature has begun to decrease and this here shows the real time curve according to the sample temperature, cold trap temperature and the vacuum pressure. So after the freezing, you have to remove these trays. So now remove this ring and apply a thin layer, a fine layer of grease over here for proper vacuum generation. Now place the ring on this apply a fine layer of grease on this ring as well and place this for the freeze rind in here like this and now you can place the rays over here in the frozen samples for lyophilization then place this temperature sensor on the top shelf like this near the sample and then place this cover on top of this make sure that the corner of the rings are not pressed underneath this cover top press manifold model so here these are for placing the glass like this. So this is the off position and to open this you have to rotate this like this. So it opens up. So now to start with the diophilization you have to turn on the vacuum pump. Pressure begins to decrease 
and it will reach to approximately 5 to 7 pascals and then the lyophilization begins so now the pressure has reached to 6 pascals and now the lyophilization has started so here it displays and generates a real time curve according to the sample temperature cold trap temperature and the vacuum pressure inside the chamber so to visualize the previously saved curves you have to go to history curves and here you can select from the previously saved curves and you can open the previous curves and to transfer the storage data to your uh, usb disk you have to put in the usb disk and click on the usb disk this storage to transfer the data and to delete any curve you have to select the particular data and you have to click the delete option and to go back to the real time status you again have to click on the real time status and it goes back to the main screen so this is how i change layer selector